anyone who says when i speak into your life and you sow to me you will prosper <clears throat> you know what i'm talking about you sow into my life you will become a millionaire he's coming you he's coming you and that's what the materialistic gospel preachers don't like about me because i'm exposing their fraudulent activities but you know why i'm exposing because i was there and i know everything and i know the whole thing so i know it's just come are you saying jesus cannot make a man a millionaire are you thinking look at the bible who did jesus make a millionaire himself in his three and a half years who became a millionaire by following him that's not his mission he didn't come to produce millionaires nobody in the ministry of jesus became a millionaire by following him the millionaires that came around him were already millionaires before they met him look at the ministry of brother paul who became a millionaire by following brother paul but what did people become by following jesus they became ministers what did people become by following paul they became ministers what about peter same thing jesus is the model for ministry what he never did no preacher can do it if i'm teaching say i hear you so we are not following jesus to be millionaires we are following jesus to advance his course on the earth can i be a millionaire why not that's why you went to secular school your father paid school fees for you to go to school to learn a skill to develop an art to develop you know uh, 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 skills so that you can engage in the business world whether you're a christian or not and make money you don't multiply money by giving you give as a responsible child of god who wants to support the work of your father on the earth if you agree with that shout a powerful amen if you understand that shout a powerful amen all those preachers that tell you, if you if you give into my anointing you'll be a millionaire they are the ones that become the millionaires they are the ones that become the millionaires they'll tell you there is grace upon my life that multiplies money i'm a money multiplier so if you're a money multiplier why are you collecting my own let that grace multiply your own money now so that you wouldn't need my own again then you can be sharing your own to us hey hey slap your neighbor's leg say wake up and pay attention the day of that scam is over in this country it's over in this country i'm teaching good here you have an anointing that multiplies money let it multiply your own money now why are you collecting people's monies can you be more anointed than jesus why Jesus is anointed? Why didn't he multiply his money? Why did he have to collect Peter's boat? Why did he have to depend on, 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 on Joseph of Aramathia's tomb to be buried? Why did he have to collect from women that gave to him? Why didn't his own anointing multiply his money? If Jesus could not have that kind of anointing, nobody else can have it. Was he anointed? Yes. How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth who went about raising millionaires. What does he say? who went about doing good so that you won't think the good is ambiguous he now explains what doing good is healing all that were oppressed of the devil for god was with him i'm teaching you bible here he went about doing good healing people that were sick for god was with him not making millionaires because in making millionaires there are principles that govern that world and you have to just learn it that's why jesus will rebuke people and say the children of this world are wiser in their generation than the children of light because the children of this world know how to apply the principles while the children of light are in church doing tarry night you're in church doing tarry night we, we unbelievers are out there calculating and networking and and building relationships that will make them relevant in the next government you you're in church fasting and praying It's time for fasting and prayer. And there's time for building networks. There's time for connecting. And there's time for being relevant. There's time for understanding the times and the season and positioning. A word is enough for a wise man. I'm teaching good. 
If you are understanding, say, I hear you. How many of you watched the interview I did in Ghana? If you have not watched it, go check it. It's on my Facebook page. It will help you a lot because I dealt with a number of issues. Even though they were hushing me and rushing me, but I still dropped what I needed to drop. 